Okay, just a quick video on how to get Streets of Rage Remake running on a Raspberry Pi, or more specifically, RetroPie. I'm using RetroPie 3.6 here. Uh, there's been nothing altered to it, I've basically just uh, put a fresh card in and configured a USB joypad. And we're going to get the Streets of Rage um, remake that's been ported to the Pi and uh, get it up and running. Now, a lot of the work here has been done by user Zero J. I'll put all of his details in the um, description box you can check out his repository but um, it's a quick and easy way to get up and running with that new uh, remake and it's a really good um, pretty solid fan base game I don't know if anyone um, has seen that remake version but obviously the original Streets of Rage really popular on the Mega Drive um, the whole trilogy is pretty solid um, particularly the second one but the remakes um, got some great additions and it works really well on the Pi it's not bad at all and this is the ports that you're looking at the screen at the moment is where it would appear so if I go in there at the moment you don't see a listing for Streets of Rage Remake but um, with a few commands that we put at the command line you'll get it up and running uh, in no time okay so what we do we go into the um, command line interface you can either do this by pressing F4 or and um, sort of typing directly with your keyboard on the Pi or you can SSH in with using PuTTY or however you want to get to the command line but uh, we'll drop there now and uh, put a few commands in. Okay, so here we are at the command line, and the first thing we're going to do is pull in Zero J's repository. Now he's created um, a whole set of code that will link in with RetroPie. That's got some bonus extras in it. So it's got some ports that aren't currently in RetroPie, whether that's in the normal um, deployment or the experimental section. He's got quite a lot more that he's working through and testing. And the one that caught my eye was the Streets of Rage remake. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, and it, like I say, it runs really well. And the first thing we're going to do is pull in that repository by typing git clone, and then the address of its repository, which is on the screen there. And I'll put that in the comments. It doesn't take very long; it just pulls a set of scripts. And you can see now, if you do a list here, you've got an extra folder. We're going to go into that folder, retropy extra, and in the folder, you've got the install script. We're just going to run that with full stop forward slash install hyphen extras dot sh and that's done so that's basically integrated zero j's work into retropy like i said i'm using 3.6 but this should work with uh, most installs okay now we go back a directory and we go into the normal setup directory which is retropy hyphen setup in here we'll run the retropy setup as normal uh, which is sudo full stop forward slash retropy underscore setup <clears throat> okay so now when you go to the experimental menu it will have pulled in these extra programs and the one we're looking for is in fact there's a couple here um, a couple of other ones that uh, zero j's done a uh, sim coupe emulator and ta99 as well so there's quite a few extra bits you could try here but obviously do treat them in the experimental manner that they're, they're pulled into here so we're looking for Streets of Rage Remake, that's here, hit OK. And that will create the extra folders needed, um, copy a couple of files, as you can see, very quick. As I hit cancel here, get a pop-up and it says, um, make sure that you put your Streets of Rage Remake installation files into that directory. So that's apt, retropy, ports, so, blah, blah. And this is effectively the game files. So you need to, for this to work, you have to get the game files just like most of the other systems you have to go and get the ROMs and uh, one mistake I made here was spending a lot of time trying to get a Linux version basically because you're only looking for a couple of files and they're, they're DAT files the program interprets these so the Windows version is fine and um, so and that's quite often uh, a lot easier to um, install anyway so basically don't spend a lot of time trying to get a particular version the standard Windows one should work for this and I'll show you where they go we'll look in that folder in a moment okay so that's done cancel there now you'll see here if we change the directory to retropy roms ports in this directory now so that the directory we're in is homepy retropy roms ports and in here we've got a new um, script streets of rage remake and effectively what that'll do is go to this directory apt retropy configs so in here we've got an emulators file and that emulators process <coughs> excuse me runs uh, goes into this directory that we saw a moment ago 
and runs this process in this dat file um, to kick the game off. So we'll go to that directory now, change directory to apt retropy ports, and here you can see we've got that new directory sarr. And in there at the moment is a symlink folder, so for save game purposes, and uh, this file bgdi, which effectively runs the dat file, I think. So um, what you can do now, what I'll do is with an FTP program, I will copy my Streets of Rage remake file into that folder and I'll show you how it looks. But one thing you'll notice, um, because of the way I tend to copy the files over with FTP, I use the user pi and that user hasn't got permissions to write into that folder. So I'm just going to change the permission on that. There might be other ways of doing this, but by changing the permission on that, the FTP program doesn't have an issue with it. And you can do that, change the permission to 777 on that folder. And now I'm going to FTP that across and we'll see how that looks. Okay, I've copied those across. And now if we get a list of that um, contents of the directory, so I'll change back into that one and list the contents. You can see I've copied from the installation directory. I had um, the mod directory, the palettes directory, and this important file here, uh, sar.dat. And you can see that the version I've got is about 240 meg, give or take. So it gives you an idea of the sort of file you're looking for. But once they're in there, that's it. That's all you've got to do. Go back to Emulation Station, fire it up, and uh, it should be in there. So we'll do that now. We can do that at the command line. Press Enter, and we should get back in there. Okay, back in Emulation Station. And what we're going to do is go back to the Ports folder. And now you can see the entry Streets Rage Remake. We'll fire that up and see what it says. Okay, now the first time it boots, it asks for the language. And I don't know if certain joypads will take the default, but um, I found that initially you must use a keyboard to choose this. You can change it after, but I can't seem to get a joypad working at this point. So if I press the right arrow and then enter, and then the graphic mode, you can change this um, later, but for various reasons, at the moment, you're best off going for the fast section at the top and says normal full screen. So select that and press enter. Okay, so it's booted, uh, no errors, and uh, it's getting into the game no problem at all. I'll show you the, the key bits really, the controls and uh, the options that are involved in there, but uh, it's pretty simple to get up and running, and then we'll try the game out. So to start with, again, because the joypad isn't recognized, I pressed enter on the keyboard. If we say later to this, and go to options, controls, and player one, if I press enter there, change that to gamepad, and now my gamepad, which is a USB I buffalo, is working, so up, down, left, right are kind of hard coded on the D-pad there, but I can change the options here, and I will change them because um, here, for example, I think the start button on mine is Joy 7 and that's not even listed and I don't know what Joy 8 is on my joypad, I don't, I don't think that's a, a button that's uh, it's finding. So I'll just change a couple of these around. So special, if I press I think A on my joypad, no, B, no not B, okay so B's back, All right, so X on the joypad, okay so special, chain, press X to change it and I have special as Y which is joy three. Attack, I'll have as B, which is one anyway. And jump, I'll have as A, so I choose that as A. Uh, special combo, I'll have that as, I think X. And then um, the start button, the start, I'll definitely press start there, there you go, seven. Uh, and police, so that's like a special weapon. If I go for, so oh, it's got you can bump buttons as well. But I'm going to press select button, 
which is six. Anyway, you can change these after. That's the point. Player one and player two. It's a two-player game. Um, I've set player one to be joypad, change my controls, and I can go to exit and exit again. Oh, whilst we're here, we can have a quick look at game options. There's quite a few options, and it's worth tweaking them and trying them out, see how um, they differ for you, but by and large, I use the defaults. Um, but there are uh, a few options to change between Streets of Rage style or Bare Knuckle. Um, you can have Blood On, Blood Off, that's under, I think, Miscellaneous, maybe. Um, or Video Options, there you go. And also, under Video Options, if you change any of the graphic mode or display, it would be, well, one, I don't think it'll work, and two, it does get you back to Emulation Station, because besides that, there doesn't seem to be a way to get back, or not an obvious way I've seen to get back to Emulation Station, but if you go to if you go to options and choose video options let's say instead of normal I want um, I don't know scan lines and then go back and press back again there I'm back in emulation station and um, so I'll load it up again and it would have defaulted back to the normal you see that briefly and then it loads up and it's defaulted back to the original video mode Anyway, um, yeah, so let's play the game. So choose one player. And uh, let's be Adam. Okay, and um, to start with, you can choose different areas. Let's do the, this one, it's pretty standard. Start there. And give it a go. One thing you notice is it plays really quite quickly. It's um, compared to the Mega Drive sort of original, it feels a bit more action packed, um, a bit more going on, a bit more manic. You get the other options like um, you can sort of the back kick on one of the buttons, and I don't think you had that sort of. This is a separate button for like a special, it's spe not special, but that's I think that one's his special. I need to remap the buttons. <laughs> There we go, okay, so select brought down the police. But it plays really well, and as you saw, it's easy to configure. Zero J's obviously done a great job importing this, runs really well. And you can see extra bonus things like this. It's quite a different game. You've got a sniper at the top where you can't stand still. And there's quite a few choices in the game as well. You can choose uh, different paths. And a lot more items to pick up as well. So watch 100 points there. And then you can, if you get, if you complete the game, get certain points. You can unlock extra characters, and it's quite a big game. But uh, as you can see, it runs, it works, sound works, plays well. Give it a go. It's a great addition to the general Streets of Rage lineup. <laughs>